our Father and our God, we come before your presence this evening to thank you, to adore you, Lord, to call upon your name. Because Jehovah Father, you are a strong tower where the righteous run to. We thank you, Jehovah Father, for this day you have been together with us. And even giving us this chance, O oh Lord, to come and pray and seek you, O oh God. We pray that, Jehovah Father, you may listen to our prayers. And that, Jehovah Father, as we seek you, may we find you. Jehovah Lord, as we knock on the door, we pray that you may open it for us, O oh God. Jehovah Father, may our prayers and our worship to you be a sweet aroma in your ears, O oh God. We pray for our members who are on their way coming, O oh God. That Jehovah Father, you may hasten their legs, O oh God, to be able to be partakers of this service, O oh Jehovah Father. We want to cleanse this sanctuary, O oh God, and we pray that you may sanctify our hearts, Jehovah, that we may be worthy, O oh God, to call upon your name, O oh Jehovah Father. May you be the Alpha and the Omega, O oh God, and we pray that, Jehovah Father, your blessings may come down to us. Meet us at our point of need, O oh God, that, Jehovah Father, you may be glorified in our lives. This is our humble prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen and amen. I want to welcome all of you to today's intercessory service. Those who are here with me in church and also those who are viewing us at home, we pray that Jehovah God may listen to our prayers and that he may be with us even as we call upon his name. We pray that we are going to be blessed of the Lord this evening and may you find it not a waste of time for you to come and seek the Lord because it is never going to be in vain. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We are going to start our prayers immediately. And I want us to have a prayer of adoration and thanksgiving. The Bible says in Psalms 150 verse 6, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I believe all of us here have breath. As long as you are breathing, it doesn't matter if you have food. It does not matter if you have clothes to wear. It does not matter if you will have somewhere to sleep tonight. But the word of God is saying, let everything that has breath. Breath is just enough for you to raise your voice and thank the Lord. Second Corinthians second 14 says, But thanks be to God who is in Christ always. Sorry, but thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. That we need to give thanks to God for giving us victory. That even when we are down, even when we feel like nothing we have accomplished, as long as we are in Christ Jesus, we have victory. Praise God. And so just look through your life till now. What do you have to thank God for? Is it a job? Is it life? Is it a family? Is it that you have food and shelter? Is it that you just received, you are healthy, or God just healed you? Only you can be able to count your blessings and give thanks to God. And the word just says, as long as you have breath, praise the Lord. So, just go before the Lord, adore him, thank him for what he has done for you. Even without any chorus, I just want you to just take five minutes of your time and let us start this service with a prayer of adoration and thanksgiving. Call upon God and tell him that you are thankful for being here tonight and even for protecting you throughout this day. Our God, we come before your presence to thank you. Because, God, you have been grateful and righteous, O oh God, and your goodness have been my portion, O oh Jehovah God. We thank you, Jehovah Father, because of your goodness. We want to thank you, God, even for salvation that we enjoy in our souls, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah Father, even for the love that is so unconditional that you have shown us, O oh God, even through your Son, Jesus Christ 
who died on the cross that we may have eternal life. We thank you because of that promise that God you've given us. That when all this passes away, Lord, we will be with you. And God, we are going to enjoy eternity with you. Thank you, Jehovah Father, because of our families back at home. We want to thank you, Jehovah God, for our children, oh God, that you have taken care of. Even during this time that they have been with us, oh God. We don't take it for granted because you have protected them from the enemy, oh Lord, who has come to steal, to kill and to destroy them, oh God. We thank you, Jehovah Father, for there is no one like you. We want to worship you, Jehovah Father, for you are the King of Kings, because you are the Prince of Peace. Thank you, Jehovah Father, for triumphing on the cross and even resurrecting, oh God, that we may have life. Oh, Jehovah Father, receive all the glory. Receive all the honor because you have spoken of our lives. And we are standing here this evening to worship you, to praise you and to honor you, Jehovah God. Thank you for that freedom of, of expression, the freedom of worship that we enjoy in this nation, oh God. We thank you because of the peace that we experience in this nation, Kenya, oh God. We don't take it for granted that the church still stands, oh Jehovah Father. We, may you receive all the glory. May you receive all the honor, Jehovah Father. Because Jehovah God, you have continued to protect us, even to provide for us, even during this hardship, oh God. Receive all the glory, Jehovah Father. We worship you, we give you honor. Because God, you have given us healing. And God, you have kept us in perfect health, oh Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We give you glory and we uplift your name. We say that there is no one else to worship but you, O oh God. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness, our Father. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Jehovah Lord, we come before your presence. We just want to humble ourselves before your presence, O oh God. We just pray that Jehovah Father, you may forgive us. Forgive our families and forgive our nation, O oh Lord, for any, anything that we may have done to separate ourselves from your goodness, O oh God. Anything that may hinder us, O oh Lord, tonight. May it be unforgiveness, may it be hurt. O oh Jehovah Father, disappointments that we may have faced today. Jehovah, we want to lay our burden to you, O oh God. That Jehovah Father, you may lighten our hearts and our spirits to true obedience and to true worship, O oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. May you come and worship with us. May you come and may you lead us in this service. We thank you, we give you praise because God, you have assured us of your presence. We thank you, we give you praise. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. It says, Jesus replied, Watch out that you are not deceived, for many will come in my name, claiming I am he, and the time is near. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened. These things must happen fast, but the end will not come right away. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilence in various places. 
and fearful events and great signs from heaven. But before all this, they will lay hands on you and persecute you. They will deliver you to synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors, and all on account of my name. This will result in your being witnesses to them. But make up your mind, do not worry beforehand how you will defend yourselves. For I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends. And they will put some of you to death. All men will hate you because of me but not a hair of your head will perish. By standing firm, you will gain life. Praise the name, the name of the Lord. The Bible tonight is telling us to watch out that we may not be deceived. And I know that there have been prophecies about the COVID-19. I don't know who you have believed or have you believed the word of God. The Bible says and continues to say that there will be great earthquakes, famines and pestilence in various places and fearful events like the COVID-19 and great signs from heaven. But it is still not the end of the world. These things we are prophesied, they will come before the end of the age. But Christ is telling us we are his disciples right now. He's telling us to watch out and not to follow them who are saying various things and many things that do not all contradict the word of God. COVID-19 has come and many other problems which will be coming in later days. But we are going to stand with the word of God this evening. We are going to count on the name of the Lord. He is telling us today that make up your mind and not to worry. That Christ is going to give us words and knowledge that none of our adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. He tells us, I will be with you and nothing is going to harm you. Let us be firm and we are going to win this battle. I am here to tell you and to encourage you that we serve a God who is greater than the COVID-19. Praise God. We serve a God who is going to fight for us and to give us victory. Praise God. And if you believe, you better say a big amen. amen. Although persecution may come, God is in control. Praise God. Amen. That when the Lord is on our side, who can be against us? Christians, this is not the time to despair. This is not the time to give up. But this is the time to call upon the name of the Lord. That he may protect us because that is what he has told us in Psalm 91. He has promised us prosperity. That is in Deuteronomy 28. And I don't know how many of us have read Psalms 91. I don't know how many of us know Deuteronomy 28. I want you, when you go home, just read Psalm 91. It is about protection of the Lord. It talks about protection of the Lord. And Deuteronomy talks about prosperity. We are his children. And these are his promises in our lives. And I want us to just pray to God. I'm just going to read you some verses in Psalm 91. And just some verses in Deuteronomy 28. There is power. When you pray the scripture of God. Praise God. Because this is not where you just like say, is this the will of God? When you pray the scripture, that is what God is saying upon your life. And you have to pray with faith when using the scripture. Praise God. Psalm 91 says, I'm just reading some few verses. That the Lord will cover us with his feathers. And under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield 
and rampart. He says, if you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Praise God. And Deuteronomy tells us that we are blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of our womb is blessed and the crops of our land and the young of our livestock, the calves of our hands and the lamb of our flocks. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before thee. They will come at, one, at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your bands and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. Praise God. I need you to just pray and declare these scriptures in your life. Economy is now opening up, but we are living in fear. God has not given us a spirit of fear. So we will go out and we are going to make businesses. We are going to earn a living because we serve a God who is almighty. Praise God. A God who is greater than this COVID-19. With Psalm 91 that says that he is going to protect us from diseases. He's going to protect us from all hard things that may come to attack us. We will go with all the procedures of the government with knowing that only God is going to protect us from this. Praise God. So just go before the Lord and pray that as the economy opens up, we will go about our businesses. Like life will not stop for us. We pray for God's favor and we pray for God's protection. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Yes, just open up your mouth and tell God for pro ask God for protection. Tell God to bless the work of your hands. Oh Lord Jesus, we come before your presence this evening. We want to worship you. We want to give you praise because of your word, which is true and amen. And we want to declare your word upon our lives this evening, Jehovah Father. Because God, you have told us that we are blessed in the city. Jehovah God, you say that you have blessed the fruit of our womb. God, your word has declared that we are. You have blessed the work of our hands, O oh God. Jehovah Lord, as we go about doing our businesses, as we go about doing our jobs, Lord, we need a hedge of fire surrounding our lives, O oh Jehovah Father. We declare and decree that, Jehovah Father, we are not going to be infected. Jehovah Father, we pray against the enemy who comes, O Jehovah Father, to steal from us, to kill us, O God, to destroy us, to disappoint us, to bring fear. But God, we want to pray that Jehovah Father, you're going to pour your spirit upon us, O Jehovah Father, and we are going to walk with power, O Jehovah Father, knowing that you go ahead of us, O Jehovah. We thank you, dear Master. The God fear will not be our portion. The Lord Jesus, you're going to speak financial health upon our companies, upon our institutions and businesses, Jehovah. We pray, Jehovah Father, a supernatural renewal of resources, O oh dear Lord. How we pray, God, that you may protect our jobs, O oh God. And to those who have lost jobs, Jehovah, I pray that you may secure them something that they can do, O oh dear Master. We thank you, dear God, because your protection is our portion this evening, O oh God. We thank you because you are protecting our families. You are protecting us, O oh dear Master, even us who are here, O oh Lord. We even pray, Lord God, for all those who are in essential services, O oh God. We pray that, Jehovah Father, you may protect them and surround them with the precious blood of Jesus. Jehovah God, you are what says that we may fear not, for you are with us. 
Lord, that we may not be dismayed, for you are our God. May you give us strength, O Jehovah Father. May you help us, O Jehovah Father, to uphold us, O God. O dear Father, you've given us not a spirit of fear, but a spirit, O God, of power, love, and sound mind. Even during this COVID-19 situation, Lord, we pray that you may help us to remain positive and that you may pour the spirit of grace and peace upon our lives, O God. O Lord, those who are facing many diversities, many adversities, O God, in their families, O God, and Jehovah Father, they are at the edge of separating, families breaking up, O God, people committing suicide and other crimes, O Lord, depression taking over, Lord, we want to come against this crime, O God, this evilness, O Jehovah Father. May you set your people free, O God. May you set your people free, O Jehovah Father. May you bring peace in our families, peace in the nation. O oh, dear Master, we pray for peace upon your people. A peace that surpasses human understanding is our portion, O oh God. Jehovah, you've said that you will protect us, O oh God, in every way. And Lord God, when they come to us in one, in one direction, Jehovah Father, you will scatter them in seven directions, O oh God. We pray, Lord, for your protection, O oh God. And we pray that we will walk out from our homes, O oh God, knowing that Jehovah Father, you are with us, that you are going ahead of us, O oh Jehovah God. Thank you, dear Master, for that promise. Thank you because your word is yes and amen. Thank you because God, you will not leave us or forsake us during this moment. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father, for there is no one like you, O oh God. We worship you, we give you praise. Jesus' mighty name we pray. before thee, O God. Thank you, Jehovah Father, because diseases are not our portion. Thank you, God, because poverty will not be our portion. This year, Lord, has been a learning process for us. But God, we stand as your children. That God, we will not be dismayed. We will not give up our faith. Because God, we serve a God who is mighty. We serve a God who is greater than the COVID-19. We thank you, O oh God, because you make a way where there is no way. We thank you because you are in control even during this moment, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah Father. May you reign, O oh God. May you reign, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, God. This moment... I want us to pray for salvation. I want us to pray that the church will be awakened and be the light. I don't know what you have learned this year. We are in August. As a Christian, what have you been telling God? Have you been questioning him? Have your salvation yumba yumba, or are you still holding on to the faith of Christ? Where do we stand as a church when the world is in darkness? The word is telling us that we are the light of the world and the salt of the world. And one thing we need to understand as Christians is that our life is not here on, uh, on earth. And the greatest desire and the divine purpose of God is that no 
human being will perish. It is God's plan that all of us may have life in eternity. How has your life been this year? When the world is giving us fear and uncertainty, have you turned to God for hope and assurance? I want us to just pray. This is a time that God is calling us and is reminding us of his son Jesus Christ who had to die on the cross for us to have life. There is a family member of yours, you have a relative, you have colleagues who still up to date cannot understand God's love. And this whole year has been God's love for mankind. That he, you are still kicking alive because of God's love. And somebody somewhere still wants to wonder, is there still a God? We need to pray for those family members, people we know that have not given their lives to Christ. That they may repent and turn to God. We need to pray that the church be reawakened and play the role of giving hope to a dark world. To give assurance. To preach against fear. That is what the church is supposed to do at this moment. And we need to be the light. The light that will shine and people will not see the disadvantage that COVID-19 comes with, but can see a positive side of it. We need to pray. We just pray for salvation and pray that the church may be reawakened and take, posi and take position and be the light. Let us just go before the Lord. of our minds. It's not because of our works. God, we know it is because of your grace. We know it is a price that you had to pay for giving up your son on the cross that we may have eternal life. God, we cannot boast. Lord, we cannot boast, but we can just say thank you. We thank you for buying us and washing us by the blood of Jesus and making us your people, making us your children, calling us your children, O oh God. Not worthy, but God. You want us to yourself, O oh God. We thank you. And Lord God, we want to remember those who don't know you. Those, O oh God, who still at this moment wonder if there is a God. Those who still around, oh God, looking, oh God, for a supernatural being, not having met you, oh God. Jehovah, only you can allocate them. May you send forth your spirit, oh Lord, to allocate them, to convict them, oh Lord, of their sin. Lord, call them by their name, oh Jehovah. And Lord, I pray that you may save them, save them from death, Bring them to light, O oh Jehovah Father. I pray for salvation in my family, O oh God. I pray for salvation even in this church. I pray for salvation upon our leaders who rule our nation, O oh God. I pray for salvation among my neighbors, O oh God. Among my relatives, O oh God. Among the citizens of this nation, O oh God. That we may know that you carry the answer question that we seek, oh God. Oh God, may you come through for us, oh God. And as a church, oh Jehovah, Father, I pray that God, we may arise and take position, oh God, to be the light and to be the salt of the world, oh God. That Jehovah, Father, as your word says, that 
O oh God, that we can testify of your goodness, O oh God, to those who do not know you, Jehovah Father. May you help us not to be selfish, O oh God, with the salvation that you have given us. But make us disciples who go out to fetch men, O oh God, and to bring many to Christ, O oh Jehovah Father. To preach the good news of salvation to the end of the age without fear, O oh God. We thank you, Jehovah Father. We thank you, dear Lord. Just soften the hearts of those who don't know you. May you reawaken your people, O oh God. Jehovah Father, we pray that we may experience your love. Because God, you sent your son that we may have life in abundance, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, God. Because you are doing great things in our lives. As a church, help us to bring hope. Help us to bring grace. Help us, O oh God, to preach a message, O oh Lord, that will benefit your people and will save their lives, O oh God. Help us to offer help where we need to, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. Because God, you came that we may have life and no soul may perish, oh God. Thank you, Jehovah Father, because you are doing something new. Just pour out your spirit in Jesus' mighty name. and our spiritual leaders. The word of God tells us that whoever wants to be great among you must be servants. It says that do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain consent. Rather in humility, value others above yourselves. And many a times we have prayed for leaders and we have pointed fingers upon to them because they have been selfish, they have acted with greed. But the word is telling us that we should do nothing out of selfish ambitions. Then Jesus thought that if you want to be great, you have to first be a servant. Let us pray for our leaders that God may teach them to be servants. That God can teach them how to be leaders. That they can act with humility. We pray that they may also have an encounter with Christ Jesus for those that are not born again. And we pray for protection upon them. And even during this moment, they are making decisions and a situation have been hard and they don't know what to do. Only Christ can give them wisdom. Only God can lead them. Only God can give them knowledge and give them peace of mind. Just pray even for our vicar who has always been with us, fed us with the word and every other man of God even out there that during this moment the church needs them. God may renew their strength and give them more spirit to be able to lead their 
their servant, uh, their, their flock. Father, you may bring 
remind us the theme of this year. Don't know how many of us still remember. The theme of the year was or is walking walking with God. I don't know how many are still walking with God. I don't know how many of us still going through their calendars and walking with the theme of every month. Those who are viewing us, not members of this church, this year we have been guided with the theme walking with God. And I just want to give us a chance that if you had forgotten all you even don't know where you are that you just pray God is always gracious to receive us back you have not fallen yet but you still need to walk with the Lord praise God you still need God every hour that God is still with us even at this moment praise God let us remember as Christians that we are branches bado tumeshikiliwa na Yesu praise God so usikubali usikubali kuplakiwa out don't even give the devil a chance and I just want you to surrender to the will of God just surrender and tell God I want to walk with you just the way I have you have been with me. God has not forsaken us. He has been with us. Tell God you want to walk with him. You still want to cling to him. Just surrender to God. Just surrender to him. Tell him that you want his will to be in your life. That his will may be established his will may be done on us. Our Father, we thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you because you have been with us. Your word says that you will not leave us or forsake us. And indeed, God, you have not left us any bit. You are still with us. You have been close to us. Jehovah Father we need you God I need you to walk closely with you to draw nearer to you oh God to pray that your will may be done in my life oh God that your will may be established in my life oh God this very moment I pray that you may meet me at my point of need oh God Jehovah for you know the desires of my heart May you listen to your people, oh God. May you listen to your people tonight. Those that are ailing, those that are God are still struggling. Jehovah, those who have lost their loved ones, oh God, I pray that you be their closest friend even during this moment. Oh God, I pray that you may help us, oh God, to cling to walk with you every hour Father to know that you still desire a relationship with us oh God thank you Jehovah because you will not spit us Lord when you call upon your name you have promised us that you will answer our prayers that you will answer the desires of our hearts. That Jehovah, when we knock at the door, you will open. When we seek you, God, you've promised that we will find you. Jehovah, we pray to you tonight. God, we are asking you and we are presenting our needs to you. Our Father in heaven, you supply our needs according to your riches in heaven. And as we walk out of this place, we know that you are meeting us at our point of need. 
that you are filling our cups oh god the jehovah you are removing every sickness and every struggle lord and you are giving us peace oh god thank you jehovah for your assurance we need you god walk with us Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you, we want to honor thy holy name, O God, for giving us this opportunity to come and cry unto you and to present our requests and our desires before thee, O God. We want to thank you, Jehovah Mighty, because we have believed that whatever that you have called, whatever we have committed to you, O God, we are expecting, Almighty oh Father, great things to be happening upon us and even, Father, to see you working in our lives in a greater way. How we commit each and every individual who is viewing us and them that have come to this particular place. The Lord, even as we live here, that you will walk together with us and that your blessings will continue to shower upon everything that we do, O oh God. Father, we want to remember them that are unwell from wherever they are, them that are in hospitals and others that are in homes, Almighty Father, as we remember our brother Lemmy who is unwell, O oh God. King of glory, may you stretch forth your mighty hand and heal them because you are the great physician. We remember even them that are bereaved, Almighty Father, at this particular trying moment, O oh God, that you may give them the comfort that cometh from above. We remember the family of Abuya, Almighty Redeemer, who lost their dad. Father, we pray as they continue to mourn their dad, O King of Glory. May you give them peace that cometh from above, Jehovah Mighty. Thank you. We love you. We adore you. Even as we disperse, O God, may you disperse us with your care and with your favor. So that, King of Glory, we may continue to trust you. For this we pray. Believe in trusting. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. Amen.